I have completed a first batch of problems. This is the very first batch for the entire project, for the entire Baby Rudin project. And these are uh, most of the problems in Chapter 1 and a handful of problems in Chapter 2. But I'm only going to stop at the end of Chapter 1 because I'm going to wait until I attempt all of Chapter 2 to grade them. Because, of course, thankfully, this great book has answers in the back, which, as, as a self-learner, helps a lot. So that's that, and so then there were, it's chapter one, so the problems should be easy, but not really. I, as I mentioned with the reading uh, for this book, the pages are long, so there's a lot of content, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot like Saf and Snyder. The problems track very well to the content and go a little bit beyond it, and of course, uh, and I'll show in the notebook, uh, I love induction proofs. I wish, I mean, if, I think I gotta find, just like for a day to keep busy, for to have fun, maybe there will be a book that has like 50 of them, and I'll do them all. Uh, but when I checked in the back, I got most of them right, which feels good. Uh, it, it's sort of, thankfully, in, in the second round, I'm reinforcing things that I learned before. And this is, of course, chapter one, so I should be able to uh, to do well with the problems. Yeah, some some set problems. Then, then here go your uh, run. Of, you know your your standard run of some basic sequences for to to use uh, induction proofs with. Uh, very relaxing stuff. I I really enjoy these problems. Yeah. And of course uh, a couple of. Uh, is divide, divisible by from number theory. And yes, I remember the trick where if, if in anywhere in the product you have n times n plus one, that gives you an extra factor of two because every even number multiplied by the next odd number, you're, you're, either way you're always gonna get a not on an even, so you're gonna get a factor of two. That's just a little thing that I learned from number theory. And so yeah, sure enough, got these right. And then, uh, progress into uh, cardinal stuff in the in the last section. Yep. Uh, the proofs, I it's hard for me to, I don't know how to grade myself that well, but you know, by now, I think I've done enough of these proof problems um, that I can, I think I can tell when my proof is working and when it isn't. I'm, I'm not sure that that's a fair thing to say, but I, I know that the third one was weak, so I gave myself two thirds. And for some reason, I screwed up the uh, surjective. I thought you could map, uh, you have two to three. I thought you could map every single one of them to just one, one point and, and the other, and I was wrong. So, learn something. Um, and then, yeah, this, I thought this was a good proof. I, I've done it well, but when I looked at the answer, th there were ways that I could have done it better. Uh, S and T are, if S and T are den denumerable, then the union of S and T is also denumerable. I could do better there. But some of the other ones, I did okay. And then these proofs where you take the axioms and you go step by step, I could do better. I, I think I did okay, but I could do better. And I wasn't as neat as I should have been, so that's another later redo, do it better. And then, of course, that is actually going into chapter two. So the next time I'll have to show this again. <laughs> I forgot that I had this marker because I, these, will, these will be graded, hopefully, the next time I show them. So I'll stop right here.